I purchased this property back in 1979, so we are now 43 years. And I just enjoyed the property for many years while I was still running my other business. And in 1998, or in 1993 actually, we did a feasibility study to put a vineyard here. Because my passion's always been about wine with a family, my grandfather, my father. I've always made wine all my life, even, even when I was doing mechanics. So in 98, we ended up uh, building the vineyard that you saw today. Uh, and uh, we start, we sell the grapes to the big winery and just making some wine as well. My first label went out in 2005. That's when I started advertising God's Your Wine. And thanks to the soil that we have here, we have five profile of soil out of the six of the whole of Barossa Valley that's been found by the Barossa Wine Association. So thanks to the soil that we have here and the position of my vineyard, I have uh, an outstanding wine which has allowed us to win awards alongside Chateau Le Tour and Chateau Le Fit, which is no small thing. I mean, to be against, against them uh, or alongside them is a big thing and, and I'll get good goosebumps when I talk about it because it's a, a very honourable achievement. And one of the judges was Wolf Plus in that competition and he said it was the first time in his career of 20 years that he came across wine of that calibre. So it's things like that that drives me forward to continue the passion that my grandfather and my father had for the wine. And now I'm happy to say that I have my, I have, my son has been alongside me for many years. So my son Felicia is, uh, looks after the vineyard, he's in the business here with the cellar door, with his wife Tina. And my grandson, uh, my first grandson, Nicholas, is also in the business. So, well, uh, as I said, it's, uh, the quality of the wine that I produce is thanks to my soil. In following the teaching of my family, that the best grapes grow in the, on the hill and got the morning sun, sun and afternoon sun, it's called Logorito in a dialect. In following the teaching, I've in, inherited this beautiful soil that gives me an outstanding wine. To be able to compete a, alongside the top world wines, like I said before, Chateau Tours. And so I've entered my wine in uh, many competitions. In fact, it's been ladies that work with me that have And we won many gold medals. We won gold medal in Canada. We won gold medal in Singapore, in Hong Kong, in Italy. Uh, in, in 2005, I was at the West End Palace Hotel uh, in Milan. And uh, through Australia, they presented my wine. Alongside 13 wineries from Australia, we were given the best wine of the night from the Italian Sommelier Association. So it is the natural wine that I make. My philosophy about wine is to make it is to get grape juice and turn that grape juice to alcohol with the natural way, with the high stringent hygiene. Hygiene is the most important thing in making wine. Hygiene. We are amongst the top wines in the world. We are becoming more, uh, more known uh, in, in the industry because of our wine, our Italian hospitality. We are very friendly. When people come here, it's about family. Yeah. It's about do, being what we are. We offer who we are as a family. Yeah. And I think that is probably the biggest key of our success, yeah. coupled with the beautiful view we have. So the combination of you know, the family, the view, the wines that are natural wine, I like wine, uh, all this combined, you know, with, with my daughter Lotina being really good at you know what she does. She's, she's good, you know, with the food. It's Italian, authentic food. All these things here really uh, sets up, uh, uh, puts us apart from the others. Charlie, what's the most expensive wine that you have today? Our most expensive wine is our Soulmate. 208 Soulmate. It's our iconic wine. It's a Cabernet Shiraz and it's $2,300 a bottle. And I'm proud to say that once again, I'm such a little, I'm no one in the wine industry, but I'm comparing myself to Penfold. Penfold have a wine which is called Bin 620, and it's a cap, 12 white Cabernet Shiraz. Amazing, I went to do the tasting at the official launching. I'm so proud of that because I now give that to my father, my grandfather, because it's just amazing. And thanks to the soil, once again, I'm able to, and to the wine making, the skills that I learned from them, then I'm able to have that. So $2,300 is the most expensive wine, yeah. Charlie, I noticed that you've got two different brands here, the Scousey brand and the God's Hill brand. What is the difference between the two of them? We introduced the Scousey label, Scousey Estate, uh, to create a more uh, affordable wine because, I mean, the God's Hill has, has become so successful and it's premium fruit. So in order to, to, to give people, the consumer, a wine that's more affordable, 
uh, I create the scales estate. If you notice under our scales and our Godsy label, scales estate has always been prominent on every label. The difference of with prices is based on the quality of the grapes. So an example, and of cost to create it. So we're talking about Godseal fruit being $5,000 a tonne uh, versus the Scalzi label being $2,000 a tonne. Yeah. The Godseal fruit is 2,000 or 1,000 or 1,500 bottles versus 30,000 bottles of each variety. Yeah. So you can see that when you do the cost uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, comparison, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it becomes cheaper. Yeah. So hence the Godseal uh, Menzo Shiraz is $120, the Barossa Shiraz is $30. Yeah. But the quality does not compromise. Yeah.